Welcome friends. It is Sunday morning, so we're going to do another one of our sort of depression era recipes. And today we're going to look at one from the Chicago Daily News cookbook published in 1930. And we're going to make something called cheese custard. Um, and I've never made anything like this before, but looking at the recipe, it kind of strikes me as being an early cheesecake or a cheesecake variation. So the first thing I've got is some cottage cheese and it says to press it through a fine mesh strainer. So I guess you're just trying to break up all the curds and get something that's really nice and smooth. Okay. Ooh. So there's a point in most recipes where I think, is this really necessary? Then I wonder if this step is super necessary. I guess we'll find out in the end. Um, took a bit of work to get this to happen. Now the next step says the gratings of one lemon. So using a microplane, in it goes. Next, we put in sugar, flour, pinch of salt, and four egg yolks. I've got the egg whites here. We're going to beat them separately. Put that in and give it all a mix. Combine it well. Okay, this is all mixed together. Now I need to whip egg whites and I also need to whip whipped cream and then fold it into this mixture. Now this jug was great for the initial stages, especially when I was trying to get the uh, cottage cheese through the sieve. But I think I'll move that to a bigger bowl in order to fold this stuff in. So I've got the four egg whites. I need to whip those to stiff peaks. Now, cream. It just says to put in a bottle of cream that you whip stiffly. Now, what size bottle of cream? Um, it doesn't go into that, and I, I'm having a little bit of a struggle here trying to figure out whether it's a half pint bottle or a full pint bottle, um, which, both of which would have been used in Chicago in the 1930s to hold cream. Uh, I'm going to try what is the equivalent of a half pint, uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if it works out. Flying blind, again, not enough instructions in the recipe. To really, uh, to really know what's going on. And I guess in the 1930s, if it said to use a bottle of cream, you would have known which size bottle to use, maybe. Now, since both of these are going to be cooked together, whip the egg whites first with clean beaters, and then you can use the same beaters in the cream to whip it. And if you don't want to do that, you can, of course, always clean the beaters or have a second set of beaters. Um, I can go just straight over. Okay, looking good. So now it just says to add the whipped cream and the stiffly beaten egg whites. So I'm going to move the first mixture to a better bowl for mixing. It doesn't say anything about folding or being careful. I guess that's just understood. You need to be careful when you're putting these things together. The cream will go in first because it's not going to deflate as badly as the egg whites might. And I think you can just stir the whipped cream in completely all at once. Still be careful though. Okay, now I'm gonna fold the egg whites in a third at a time. So I put the first third in, and the first third you don't have to be terribly uh, careful with, just sort of get them incorporated. And then you do a third and a third folding, trying to be fairly careful. Now, a pastry chef once told me that most people have a difficult time with this operation because they overbeat the egg whites and they're too stiff. And that stiff peaks probably isn't where you should be in order to fold in egg whites. And I would probably count myself in that group of people who overbeats the egg whites and then has difficulty folding them in. So now it says to transfer to a buttered baking dish. Um, doesn't say what kind or how or how it's supposed to be served, so I'm just going to assume that this buttered baking dish will be fine. I'm going to transfer this in, and then you bake it in a hot oven for 10 minutes, and then you turn it to a low oven and cook it slowly for an hour. So, 
let's get this going. Okay, Jules. Hey, that is one golden looking. It is very golden. Dessert. It's called a <coughs> cheese custard. A cheese custard? <coughs> okay. So I'm assuming it has eggs, milk, cheese? Eggs, milk, cottage cheese. Um, something I've never had before. Something. And I initially say, I bet it would be great with some lemon. Um, there is lemon in it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a, it's a, it's kind of a cross between a baked custard that I'm accustomed to. Um, a cheesecake? cheesecake? Yeah. Uh, okay. Certainly not something that I would have had as a child or my grandparents would have ever made or my mom would have ever made. Someone clearly did. Someone did. I guess this is more of an American thing. Hmm. Okay. It's got a cornbready kind of texture to it. Yeah, that caramely layer on top almost has that cornbread crunch, doesn't mm -hmm. it? The lemon really pulls out. Great flavor. I wonder if it would be... It doesn't need to be cold. Mm. No, it's just slightly warm now. Mm -hmm. It would be good cold. It would be good warm. Um, would be good cold with a dollop of ice cream. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of options. It tastes <laughs> similar to me to... Um, Years ago on the channel, we did a ricotta cheesecake. And if I remember, I'll put the link below, but you can go to our channel and just Google ricotta cheesecake. It's got the same sort of texture as that. I think it would also be really good with a little cardamom, cardamom yes, in it. Yes, you could put all kinds of different yeah, yeah. spicing into you it. You could really, you know, yeah. go with your your bias. And I've already eaten most of mine, so. But at the, yeah, at the same but time, it, I, I'm yeah, gonna, it's a pretty good little dessert. I'm, I'm going to say at the same time, it's a great dessert. Yeah. And obviously, we're probably eating way more than would have been served in the 1930s. This would be a serving for three in mm -hmm. my pool. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you again. I, I'm, I can't talk. I'm just... You're just going to keep eating? I'm just going to keep eating because I really enjoy this. In that case, I'll say see you again soon. <laughs>